All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. We're doing a battle box today. You guys know that battle box sent this to the channel to me for free. I don't pay for this. And I just usually open it up and show you all the stuff that we got here. Now, if you go to the battle box channel, you're probably going to get better quality video because they actually go into a bunch of the details and things like that. I just pretty, pretty much primarily just show you what we got right so i got the highest level of battle box i've been doing it for a while you can look at some of the uh reviews and things like that that is in the channel because obviously this is going to cost you know a good amount of money and you don't want to waste your money right so if this is something that you have extra money and you like getting like you know a survival box with different gear and things like that it, again it's going to be up to you but obviously it has this little book right here we're going to open it up and i'm going to show you some of the stuff that we have right here this is going to be mission 96 and i've been doing it for quite a while so you're going to have different levels obviously and uh again give you a quick look here and now we're going to go into the basic box so the first thing is going to be a pen right so we're going to have a pen right there od green does not have the price it used to have the prices but it doesn't have the price right now so let me look at the pen let me look for it all right right here so you're going to have a space pen that's what it says and this is kind of what you have right there and again it's gonna say all right you could write upside down any angle any extreme temperature minus 30 all the way to 250 underwater oh wow you could write underwater uh three times longer than your regular pen and you can see it right there let me open it up i actually want to see how it writes little knife that i got here for this all right so here's the pen close this up has a cool color as well let's open it up just to look on the inside here's the filling all right that's kind of cool and let's close it back up all right so it feels kind of light obviously click it and click it again let's go ahead here and right here hello all right, so the first thing, again, the first thing is going to be a pen, and this is kind of what you have right there. All right, the next thing that we're going to see is going to be he this right here, and it's going to be a medic two-pack wounded closure kit. And I don't want to open it up because, you know, I'm going to put it in my little kit, but essentially this is kind of what you have right here. So it's going to be like a bandage kind of style. You put it wherever your wound is, and then you could kind of like help you close it up a little bit. It has a little bit of pressure that you put in there. And that's actually quite cool. You can see it right there. Little details in there. That's going to be the second thing. The third thing is going to be in the bottle box basic. It's going to be this right here. Again, you know, there's a cool story about this, by the way. Look it up. But this is an Ulta or Ulti clip. And you can see it right there. Obviously, this could be attached to a holster, also to a knife or something like that. You have your little holes right there. You have... You have the screws, but essentially, instead of needing a bell, here's the thing, you know, usually you need a bell to clip the little clip into the bell. You don't need a bell with this. Essentially, you could open this up right here. You can see how much pressure it has. And then that going to get into, you know, you put your clothes, your shorts, whatever you're going to put it on. And then you close it and it should stay there in place. So it's kind of like a retention clip right there. And in fact, if you look at the story, I may be wrong, but I remember seeing the guy who came out with this talking about it. And he had a story about God and how he came out with this clip. So definitely look it up, right? And you can see it right there. Some of the information right here. So again, pretty pretty cool okay we're gonna jump into the vans box this is gonna be a light tube and really never seen anything like that so you can see it right here how it's gonna look and again it's gonna be a light tube so essentially you blow on it and you know make it bigger and then you connect to a power source and you have a light so this is awesome for camping and things like that you can kind of see it right here if you like to go camping pretty cool way for you to use it during camping or maybe if you don't have lights or anything like that this will be really, really cool. I like to go camping with my kids, so I'm definitely going to be utilizing this. Okay, we got an axe now, and this is going to be the Pro Box. And this axe is going to be from Zippo. And I think they're saying something similar to this many years ago. So maybe this is the second one they do. But again, I'm pretty sure one of the first boxes that they have, they have something similar to that. So again, you have your axe right there with a sheath. You have your hammer section right there. This is made out of some kind of plastic. And obviously, this is going to be a saw as well. So you have a combination of an act with a saw. And you do have some extra saws in there too. You can see it right here. So again, this is kind of what you have right there. Very, very cool. And, and again, this could be a really cool tool to go camping as well. We got a coupon right here. And now we have what everybody has been waiting for. This is going to be a fixed blade. I love fixed blades when they come in the pack because, you know, they're just cool, right? And you see the name right there. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that, but here's a knife right there. This is a really, really cool knife. Let me open it up and show it to you guys. So 
Overall length, according to the specs right here, it's going to be 9.25. The blade is going to be about four inches. It's going to be D2 steel, G10 scales. And again, let me just give you a look. Obviously it has this sheath right here that could be utilized scalp carry. And you can kind of see it right there. And we're going to open the knife. Here's the knife right there. Give you a closer look at the knife. Feels good. I'll tell you what. Feels really, really good. Doesn't feel too heavy at all and uh feels good in the hands i already tried it once and it feels really good has some jimping in here so the jimping feels good i mean ergonomically it feels like really good in your hand right and it's a cool blade really cool blade and yeah you can see some of the details right there and there you have it guys mission 96 let me know what you think and as always god is in control